All right, we are pulling up on scene here of a, a half-loaded trailer right there that uh, is sinking into the ground. So we're gonna get pulled in here, see what's going on with it, and if uh, we can help out. How's it going? Good, how are you? Good. You got the right equipment, it looks like. Well, let's hope so. How much do you think is in here? Well, they got half of it, about half. Okay, so the whole front half full or half all the way through? The whole front. Okay, so it's loaded in the front. Yeah. Okay. That was a good idea to save it. Yeah, uh, oh, that side even broke in. So, <laughs> make sure it's got maxis on both axles so it doesn't do anything if we lift it. Yep, good there. All right, um, I'll probably, so we're probably going to want to lift it and get it over here if we can. So it's kind of swooped that way it's sitting right now. Yeah, so if we get it up and leveled out, I have the whole fiscal adapter. I can hook onto it just like a truck and then we, I can move it. Good, because I'd like to get the position more of it this way. And, yeah. You know what I mean. Yeah, once we get it up and level, I can hook onto it and I should be able to back it up over here in a better spot. Okay. So. Perfect. Let's see. Yeah, that'll work. I'll just back right up close and see if I can lift it with the bed and we get it set upright and then what I'll... What part of the bed you're gonna lift it with? The main bed or is it tight? The main bed, because this, do, this doesn't go very high. I can flip these up and I have risers, but uh, I'll use this Sweet. and uh, that way we can get up high enough to block under and set it on so I can hook the fifth wheel up. Depending on how it sits, I might borrow a block off your trailer there to put so that it lifts it by this plate and not off that corner of the body over there. Because if I go straight up there, it'll probably hit the corner of the body. I don't want to push on that. You can drag it and shove it around if you need. The closer I am into it, the better leverage I'll have on it. Look at this one with this fancy angle that might work just right. Perfect. OK, 
Okay. We got a little pressure on this landing gear. Yeah, we're gonna can kink it so. Or I could be smart and give it lift the whole truck. Yeah, just use all the hydraulics instead of only half of them. <laughs> yeah, keep cranking it up and we'll have to block under that. There's the easy way to do it. Yeah. <laughs> They're lifting there with that big deal. Yeah. Well, now it's also supporting the bed back here, too. Okay, so now we're going to have to block it here. I think if we stack those blocks up there, it'll bridge that. Stack them on the other side? Uh, Back under that landing gear. Here, it always runs on the other side because you get your big wheel under. Yeah. Move it. Yeah, I think that would bridge that there and we could be good. So that hole is full of water. Yeah. Yeah, definitely found a wet spot there. Go ahead and put that one under there. Let me see if it'll sit there. Yeah, let's see if it'll stay. It can't go anywhere because my bed's still under it, so. Okay, it's on its own there. No, it goes on the, the underreach actually. On the back reach? Yeah. You gonna see a round hole in the stomach. Well, yeah, that's there. for that's for the sheath head attachment for the winch that pulls off all oh. the different directions. What's that? Your bowl ain't getting away. No. I'm gonna back up a little now so I'm closer to it.
Now we see how heavy it really is. It won't move like that. We don't got a whole lot of closer. So the big difference in picking it up out here and picking it up way back there. About as close as we can be. Yeah, I think that's about all it's got for, it's heavy, yeah, it's heavy. So what I can do, I can, it's level now, I can stick the bed back under it, lift it with the bed and I'll just hook the winch line to it so that it can't slide off the back. I'll put air to it and try to back up and get, get those. I think at least if those are over here a little more solid. So I can do that without hooking to it. Yeah, you're down near in the board, it's there. Yeah. Yep. Oh, that almost worked. Yeah, impressive. To be fair, that attachment is only rated for empty trailers. <laughs> well, he could have 25 pounds in there pretty easy. Oh, he's, yeah. And that wet bag, yeah, I mean, don't tell him what he got here. Yeah, really. Okay. Perfect. I want to be just ahead of the kingpin. Well, actually, ahead of it now. Will the kingpin go in that hole? Because if it'll go in that hole. Well, that would be our lock right there. Yep. Let me turn a little bit. Okay, now if we extend this. It's scary how strong it is. You can hurt stuff. Make sure it's going in the locks. Yeah, it you can hurt like itself very badly too. Yeah, it's just dragging that loaded trailer. Make sure we're going. Yep, we're in the locks. So I'm using that to support the back of the bed while the front gets into the locks. And 
now that the front is in the locks, let's we'll air the truck up. Yeah, we're good. Leave that right there. We're good on all this. This. So you just want to get the whole thing all pull forward and kind of get over a little. Well, he was thinking just about where he is at the back end. Is it okay if it's turned a little? Because yeah, okay. if I do that, I could just right from in back up and just turn the front end this way some. You can get the back end about right here. And the front end on less more level? Yeah, okay. Over this way with the front end. Okay, this is airing up right now. We're at 49,000 pounds on the drive axles. We're at 49,000 pounds on my drive axles. 49. <laughs> yeah. That's all that leverage off the back end. Yeah, I definitely want to get my back end tires around that. Oh shit. Oh, you can do yeah, I'll slowly turn this way and just make sure my tires go around that. Okay. Because if we sink the truck too, then we're in trouble. Yeah, it's, there's not a pipeline right there, is there? No, there's a pipeline right here. Not right here? Okay. Well, it's about here. Okay. Well, I'll start backing up. If you want to stand over here and tell me yeah. when to start hooking it that way. Right there? Okay. Don't stack up too high with this. So don't stack up any more than one layer with this because I'm a lot taller than a normal truck. So if we block this up too high, you won't be able to get down to this. One layer is all we can do. Yeah. Just one, one layer. Because I'm, I'm so much taller than a normal fifth wheel on that bed that if we block up under this, you won't be able to go down far enough to get another truck to it. Okay, so like that. Yeah, that's good. That one layer? Yeah. Um, let's turn them this way because this pivots this way, so if one kicks out, it will, it will roll off of them. Okay. That's a little more sturdy way. I need one more 
Just something to shim it up so it sits level. I don't want it to lean again. Yeah, if we block it all the way up where it was, we wouldn't be able to get down to the fifth wheel of another truck. And then Matt would be calling me again. <laughs> well, that's what you're in business for. That's, that's very true. <laughs> yeah. I try to solve people's problems, not create more. Yeah, though. well, that's what Matt's trying to do too. <laughs> yeah. Come and dump something like yeah. this. So I'm gonna, this is gonna be high, but I wanna be able to lower mine out from underneath it. Yeah. Okay. So I've got to... Something goofy here. So I've got a slide. It's a little bit high in the front, or what's that? You think we're all right, or are we a little high? Oh, we're way high in the front, but I need it high so I can get out from under it. Yeah. yeah so I'm gonna. Are you gonna? Once I get that out of that hole, yeah. I can lift the front again like we did, and oh. we could raise that up to set down at like a reasonable height, yeah. Ah, you got a plan. But yeah, I need to get that kingpin out of that hole. So right now my brakes are released. This is my emergency brake. And I'm gonna slide the bed back to drive my truck forward past the locks. Okay, now are we good? You're, you're coming out now. Yep, that's what I need. Now we can. Let's turn a little, isn't it? It's free. I think you're loose. <laughs> I'm loose. Just slightly hung up. Okay. So what I can do now. Okay, crank that landing gear up some. And I'll lower it down. Yep. You know what we might ought to do? Take that block out and we'll put we'll put this block on that side. That way it can get lower. I got it. There. Keep going or you good? Uh let's set it down some and see. I think that looks pretty good right there. Okay, I'm gonna pull out from under this. Now, 
can go home. All of that and I didn't even actually need this thing. The trailer was too, too heavy for it. Now to be fair, I knew it was too heavy and I shouldn't do that. But I was hoping it would work to make life easier. And because I'm me and things go how me things go, it just made life harder. So many pins. What's it like to drive a tow truck? Get used to cotter pins. Hopefully it stays there this time. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, you guys are all set. I'm out of here. Right. Good meeting you. Nice Good meeting you. you. What do you do? Casey. 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 Benny yeah. Moore. Uh. Okay, kill the throttle. Uh, what are we? Good. truck turns amazingly well for how long it is. Okay, let's go home. Can't wait to hear all the experts tell me you're not supposed to coast to a stop. Doing it anyway. <laughs> <laughs>